dry and sunny for most of the day. But if you just looked off to the north and the west, you can see those some really dark clouds. I'm sure you had our app in one hand, Patrick, of and course. your golf club in the other hand <laughs> yes. to make sure that you didn't get wet out there. Glad it worked out for you over there on the East Bay. And yeah, it was a really fine line between who got no rain at all, which was actually most of our viewing area, and those that got drenched northern Rhode Island, especially up towards Woonsocket into Massachusetts, Connecticut, getting a lot of rain with some slow moving downpours. Right now, things are quiet in Newport, visibility in good shape, and our lone shower on live pinpoint Doppler 12 tracking offshore from Massachusetts and notice a few showers here offshore from Long Island as well. Overall, things do remain just unsettled enough to keep the risk of a pop-up shower or thunderstorm in the forecast. I do not think things will be quite as widespread as they were yesterday across northeastern Connecticut into central Massachusetts. Right now we're in the upper 60s to low 70s, 71 in Westerly, 69 Block Island, 69 Newport, 67 in New Bedford. With our winds fairly light at 5 miles an hour in Providence, 3 in Newport, 3 miles an hour in Westerly. And you can see little specks of green. So no major storm system rolls through today, but we have a front to our west and just enough energy branching off of that front to kick off a few of these downpours and thunderstorms. In fact, as we walk you through this afternoon around one or two o'clock, some isolated downpours and thunderstorms are possible. But notice this is actually not as widespread with its coverage as what we had yesterday. We had a lot of storms and downpours right in the zone here, pretty much from the northwest of 295 up into Massachusetts and across Connecticut, even up towards the Boston metro area. Today, it's very, very isolated, so most spots actually don't get anything. Same thing, 3, 4 o'clock with some scattered downpours possible. And then by 7, 8 o'clock, anything that's out there should fizzle out. So this afternoon's high temperatures, similar to yesterday, mid to upper 70s. We'll get those breezes out of the south. Kind of an early start with these southerly winds. I wouldn't be surprised to see these upper 70s turn into mid 70s by the middle to the later part of the afternoon. So you're heading to the beach. It's not a sizzling hot beach day but not a bad one either. Wickford getting up to around 81. Now you get away from Narragansett Bay across places like Burville, Woonsocket, Foster. Mid to upper 80 should be the general rule with those isolated showers possible. East Providence around 84, 82 in West Warwick. Across the East Bay for places like Barrington and for those of you in Bristol, those winds out of the south should cap our temperatures right around the 82 degree mark and then going back into the upper 70s during the late afternoon as those winds continue to come in off of Narragansett Bay. Seekonk around 84, 86 in Attleboro. High temperatures in the upper 70s to around 80 degrees for Westport into Dartmouth. And at the beach, mid 70s with a mix of sun and clouds. Safe sun time around 10 to 20 minutes. So our chances of showers for the next several days kind of up and down. Today we'll put you in the isolated category. A lot of spots actually missing it, missing out on the showers. Friday, pretty much nothing. Maybe a few isolated showers just off to our west. Saturday, a line of thunderstorms could develop and a few of those thunderstorms could be strong. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. But even that should not last very long if it materializes. And then on Sunday, back into the nothing category. I think a lot of people with weekend plans happy about that. I do have to update this dew point graphic. So we'll move on to the seven day future cast and talk temperatures instead. Some scattered shower Saturday, low 80s, and then we really break up that humidity by Sunday. Upper 70s, just a beautiful end to the weekend. And then the showers do increase as we head into Monday and Tuesday. You can always get an updated future cast over on our website and also download the Pinpoint Weather app. If you're like Patrick was yesterday and you're golfing trying to avoid the showers, this is a great tool to have with you. Now let's get you over to Pinpoint Traffic.